what's popular, everyone? Let's talk about some Gotham Sirens. Okay, so um, you, you've heard by now, you should have heard by now, that uh, David Ayer and the fantastically Harley Margot Robbie are going to be doing the uh, Gotham Sirens as the uh, Harley Quinn movie. Or at least that's the spin uh, right now, right? That's not new news. You've gotten that. You've heard it over the last week or two. You should have anyways, right? Here's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about all of the fucking nerd critics who are flipping out, flipping their shit, having overly passionate speeches about how DC needs to get their heads out of their ass, get their game together. And not that it's not true. DC does need to get their game together. They do need to get their shit right. Yeah, it's true. But uh, I think you guys are forgetting. First, let me say, you're fucking wrong, buddy. <laughs> we, we keep forgetting. I, I don't think you guys take it into account that Marvel started off sucking. Other than the, other than the Blade series, and, and really the Blade series comes down to what? Uh, maybe two good ones? Because part three was, uh, and, he, and even even uh, Wesley Snipes was, was uh, ill with part three, right? So outside of those, what did fucking, what did fucking Marvel have in the beginning, right? I mean, we had the first two Spider-Mans, which were Tobey Maguire's Spider-Mans, and yeah, they were okay. Really, the second one was the best. The first one took us by storm because of the fact that it was uh, Spider-Man, and we hadn't seen Spider-Man done well, period, right? Other than, like, old, old, old movies. So none of that shit mattered, right? So then what do we have? We have Elektra, garbage. Well, garbage in the fact that it is garbage, but great in the fact that I love Jennifer Garner. Oh, I love me some motherfucking alias i do right but um give give that away throw it out the window and what is it nothing go to daredevil suck bad suck fucking bad right and whose fault was that i don't fucking know uh it wasn't affleck's fault it wasn't jennifer gardner's fault because jennifer gardner can do no wrong she's alias yeah she'll whoop your ass so yeah you know my, my point is that Marvel had its time to grow as well. Oh, and let us not forget the fucking two Hulk movies. Oh, my God. The second one with Ed Norton being the better of the two, but still. Oh, my fucking God, right? So let's just, let's just give considerance to that. Now, you're, you're putting all this pressure on DC. You're putting DC on this pedestal and then knocking, knocking one of the legs out from under the pedestal because DC can't fucking get their shit together as fast and, and, and compete with Marvel. Right, whereas it took Marvel what the better part of what a decade more, more maybe even two decades to get to where they are with the fucking Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's not a fair comparison. Now, having established that, let's get to this. I hear a lot of these critics crying. Well, what are you doing? It's, you know, just to make some money, it's gonna be you've got these cool characters, cool toys, you make some money. And why is it all about the money, motherfucker? What do you think it's about? I mean. Yeah, for you, artistically, it's about creating a great movie with depth and cinematic beauty and blah, 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 blah. And I love that. I want that. I want to see that. I would love for DC to accomplish that. But at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, in the middle of the day, for any one of these movie fucking studios, especially the major studios, what the fuck do you think it's about? You think they're fucking putting all that fucking money up there because they want to fucking put a movie in front of your face so you can say it's artistic? Fuck no. They want the fucking money. That's why they're fucking putting millions of dollars in to get a billion dollars out. That's what they do. It's fucking money. It's all about the money. So get that shit out of your head. What are you, some kind of fucking commie? You know what I'm saying? This is capitalism. Get the fuck out of there. Get that commie talk out of there. Get that artsy fucking, lovey fucking, fucking free love, damn peace man, 60s shit. Get that shit the fuck out of here. That time is gone, bro. It's all about money, bro. It's about the money. Not for us, but for the studios. And the thing is going to be anything else is fucking naive of you. Naivete, that is a word. Now, let's go into the sirens and how this thing could work, right? Now, I will say, I will be fair and say that I have no faith in David Ayer after fucking Suicide Squad. Not because he can't do a job. Not because he didn't do a good job. Not because he didn't have artistic vision. But because he carried the water for the studio. Because he wanted to keep his job. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't stick to his balls. He didn't grab. He didn't grab his dick on him and be like, "Look, goddammit, I'm David motherfucking Air, bitch. I'm making the motherfucking movie I wanna make, bitch. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna shoot this shit. The Suicide Squad are gonna be the villains that you love to hate and hate to love. He didn't do any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? You may have did it, 
but he didn't stick to his guns. He didn't drop his dick on anybody's forehead when they came in and said, we got somebody else editing your shit and we're gonna use that edit instead. Although I did like some of the trailer parts. I love the flashy shit, right? Now, I don't have faith in David Ayer because of that. You got no balls. You gotta have some balls. Or maybe they say, if you do this, you can do what you wanna do next time. I don't know. If that's the case, then fine. I don't think that was the case. I think he just, I think his balls true. Like, you know, you take a shower, right? And and you be in the shower for a long time and you come out and you know, your dick's like shrunk, your balls are shrunk, all of that shit shrunk because you've been in the shower, it's all regressed, right? I think that's I think that's what he did. I think he was shower dick, right? So that might be an unfair uh criticism of, of, of Mr. Air. I'm fucking no. I'm just telling it like it is. Who am I? The motherfucking guy is telling you like it motherfucking is. Alright, so what do we need to make the fucking sirens movie good, right? We do need a good script. We do need a good idea. We do need for them to not rush it, obviously, right? Don't do it in six fucking months unless you got a fucking writer who blows shit the fuck out. If you got that, you can do what the fuck you want to do and make it pop. I don't know if they got that or not. I don't know. I tell you what, though. Everyone's crying about, why would they do this? Why would they do this? Because they don't got nothing coming out, motherfucker. All right? They want to count on Batman, but Batman's not coming out because Affleck is like, fuck that. My name's on this shit. You're not fucking this up for me. I'm taking my time. Fuck that. He's grabbing his dick and putting it on the foreheads. Right? That's what he's doing. And I respect that. The Justice League movie is going to come out. Right? And that's going to be a major uh, pillar for them, or it should be. They're hoping that it is. I don't know. I don't know. So if it was, you wouldn't see him jump into so many different characters, right? So I think here's what's going to happen. I think the Wonder Woman is going to fucking smack this shit the fuck out of the park. I think that Wonder Woman is going to be badass because here's what's up. When I hear that motherfucking theme music, dun 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 dun, and then she comes in, dun 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 dun, that motherfucking shit gets me, oh, 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 that shit gets me Randy. Like I'm so, that shit gets me tight. Oh man, that shit is so motherfucking turnt. I'm talking about I'm ready to watch that shit right now. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go watch the trailer right after this shit. So I'm thinking that off the strength of Wonder Woman, they're gonna wanna go with some other strong female leads. I think they're gonna open the door for more female leads. And you're seeing that happen anyways in a lot of these movies. You're seeing, uh, look, looking at Marvel, looking at the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you're gonna see uh, Miss Marvel come out, right? You're gonna see, I don't give a fuck what nobody say, you are going to see a Black Widow movie. Even if it's with team up with somebody else, you are going to see a Black Widow movie because my girl, my homie, my uh, mm, 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 Scarlett Joe. Scarlett Joe is gonna prove her way with fucking Ghost in the Shell. She's like, fuck that. I will show you motherfuckers that I can do this on my own. I did, Lucy. That was enough for you. I will do motherfucking Ghost in the Shell. I will take the whitewash criticisms. I will fucking put my tits on your forehead. That's what she's doing, right? So because of that, you are going to see a motherfucking Black Widow movie, right? This is the age of the women. Now, they tried it with Ghostbusters. You motherfuckers gave it a lot of hate. Let's be fair about Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters was not like the fucking best movie ever, but it was fun. You motherfuckers, you motherfuckers hated on the movie because it was these chicks, right? And, and you got all this crying about, oh, talking about it didn't pay enough homage, homage to the original storyline, but then say, you know what? Fuck you guys. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're fucking home critics, right? Having established all of that, I'm saying that to say, I think we need to give the women a chance. Can we please just give the women a chance to make the world a better place? But not Hillary Clinton, right? So <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking that that's what they want to do. They want they want to um, go off the strength of Wonder Woman and the popularity of the Harley Quinn character, right? Now, again, the question is asked, what can they do to make it could. Some people have speculated they should do a Thelma and Louise type deal, but you have to consider that you're going to have three chicks. You're going to have Catwoman, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, right? I firmly believe that you should take the story straight from the fucking comics or even better, do an animated movie first to establish it, right? And draw from that, draw from that, trust the DC storylines that are already in place. Change them a little, tweak it a little, that's fine and dandy, right? But trust what is already there, use that material. Don't do some dumb bullshit. Now, to be fair, Harley Quinn is a far out character. She's fucking insane. So what does that mean? 
that means that the movie has to be fucking erratic. Some have said that they would love to see a uh, Joker Harley Quinn movie, which is something that I also wanted, right? And they would love to see it in a fucking born, natural born killer fashion. I would love that as well, right? I think a, I think a, a Joker Harley movie as the prequel to this, like the filler in between Suicide Squad and this, where so then when you have the um, Gotham Sirens, it's Harley breaking away from Joker, and you have that dynamic with Poison Ivy trying to convince Harley that she doesn't need a Joker, and then possibly having Joker trying to chase her down, or playing in some role, playing some role in the movie. I think that would really help the, the Sirens movie, but I think it, that would be on the strength of having a uh, Joker Harley movie in between. Without the Joker Harley movie, I think that you have to do the Gotham Sirens and completely leave Joker out of it. You have to completely leave Joker out of it because you don't want another situation where you have a Suicide Squad with little bits and snippets of Joker and you also don't want to have, I don't think you want to have a Gotham Sirens and then you have the Joker in it and it becomes, well, you don't know what it is. Is it Joker Harley or is it Gotham Sirens? Which the fucks is it? Now, the next question is, do you have a superhero in it? Like, a, say, a Batman because it is in Gotham City and you do have three of Gotham's top criminals. So do you have a Batman in it? Or how about this? How about we introduce a bat woman or bat girl as the fucking heroine for the movie? Or antagonist in this in this uh, particular in instance because the stars would be Harley and and uh Poison Ivy and fucking Catwoman. So uh, we have a few different ways we can go. Maybe even use a Nightwings. I don't think you should bring Batman into this one not directly. Because it's an early off, it's a smaller bit. I don't think you should bring Batman into that off, off the top. I think it'll be better with someone else. Or how a fucking about this? Don't bring any of them into it. Have these motherfuckers going on a motherfucking wild ass ride, fucking wreaking fucking havoc, trying to get even or catch up to or kill another another enemy, another villain, another some whoever the fuck else. What I do know you cannot do is you cannot make them the fucking goody two shoes versions of themselves. Like that's gonna kill it. That's what took away from Suicide Squad. You wanna see bad guys be fucking bad. Harley Quinn is kinda off the cuff. She's she's good, bad, evil, all that shit. Crazy, sane, everything. So you have a, a lot of room with her, but and but uh Ivy is a straight bad guy. And Catwoman, she's kinda on the fence too. So that gives you a little bit of room. Uh, it gives you a little bit of room, but you have to make it about them. You have to bring out the madness. You can't fucking try to make them good guys. Let the bad guys have that moment. As a matter of fact, why not even have a fucking someone who's used to directing horror or dark comedies who can also do action? How about that? Those are just my thoughts. But most importantly, over the top, I want to say, and I want to go out on this, you motherfuckers crying about DC not being on the same level as Marvel. Shut the fuck up. That's not happening for some for some time. We got at least another decade before DC is ready to be where Marvel is. A whole another decade. And then the next thing is, and the final thing is, how the fuck can you, how the fuck are you going to Tuesday morning fucking coach the goddamn movie? Like, you know what I'm saying? Not like, not Monday morning coaching, not fucking Sunday morning coaching, not fucking Friday, but Tuesday morning. You're nowhere near the fucking, we don't have enough details to say any fucking thing. You're just speculating and panicking in a fucking nerd frenzy, the fucking way nerds always fucking panic when anything is a fucking announced. If you think about it, Civil War, nerds was panicking over, oh, Civil War is not going to be good because blah, 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 and there's too many people, and how you going to juggle too? That's because you don't have the motherfucking creativity, the motherfucking foresight, the motherfucking objectivity to think outside the box doesn't mean any no one else can. So guess what? That means shut the fuck up. Until next time, people. Out of here.